After three disappointing weeks on the road, including losses to Bedford and Nottingham, Mosley returned home to take on Doncaster Knights in round 13 of the RFU Championship. Mosley opened the scoring after several patient phases of recycling at the breakdown. Ryan Glynn passed out to Brad Davis, who found Michael Ellery, who in turn found a gap in the Doncaster defence. Neither David McElane nor Ben Toft were able to touch the Mosley back row forward, who went over for the first try of the game. Brad Davis bounced the ball off the crossbar with what can best be described as an ugly kick to add the two points. Having spent several minutes attacking in the Mosley 22, Doncaster took a line out 10 metres from Mosley's line. The mall was driven infield and Mosley were penalised for taking it down no more than 5 metres from their own line. Doncaster turned down the chance of fairly straightforward points and opted to kick for touch. Mosey turned over possession at the line out and the chance was gone. Doncaster opened their account as they threw the ball out wide and recycled possession, all the time making steady progress towards the Mosley line. The chance came with a half break by Doncaster fullback David McElane and a well timed pass to number 6 Latu McCarthy. Moses, number 14 Billy Robinson pulled the flanker down with what looked like a try saving tackle but it was not enough to stop Doncaster scrum half Chris Hallam from going over. Moses 7, Doncaster 5. David McElane's conversion came close but just past the wrong side of the post and Moseley maintained their two point lead. In a rarely enforced law of the game, Doncaster were penalised for a crooked feed into the scrum, much to the amusement of the watching crowd. Neither side added to their score before the interval, and the team went in at half time, mostly 7, Doncaster 5. Doncaster started the second half pressing forward into the mostly 22. They recycled the ball through several phases and were rewarded for their efforts when quick hands from number 13 Ollie Goss found Michael Keating who juggled the ball and wrong footed the Mosley fullback before going over for the try. David McElane's kick got caught up in the strong headwind blowing down the slope but he did enough to steer it through the posts and bring the score to Mosley 7, Doncaster 12. Doncaster spent further time in the Mosley half and eventually the home team were penalised for not rolling away in the tackle. David McElane kicked the points to extend Doncaster's lead to 8 points. Mosley 7, Doncaster 15. Two minutes later and Doncaster, just outside their own 22, were penalised for holding onto the ball in the tackle. Brad Davies kicked the points to bring the score to Mosley 10, Doncaster 15. With the game seemingly slipping away from them, Mosley were penalised for going in at the side of the ruck. But, as the last remnants of the day's sunlight faded away, David McElane's kick missed the mark, leaving Doncaster still ahead, 15 points to 10. With just 5 minutes left, replacement scrum half Ryan De La Harp darted forward past the Doncaster flanker and taking the Doncaster scrum half and fly half with him. His offload found Andy Ray, who threaded his way through the gap and went over under the posts for the try that brought the scores level. Brad Davis made no mistake with the conversion to retake the lead for Mosley, 17 points to 15. 
With neither side scoring any further points, Mosley won their third game of their championship season on a cold and windy winter's afternoon, much to the delight of their supporters. <laughs>